Are you tired of buying weak store-bought herbicides that barely put a dent in your weeds or just flat out don't work? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple trick that all the professionals use to supercharge their herbicides. Let's get after it. So a lot of you guys right now are probably using herbicides like these, this BioVance or this Roundup for Lawns, which to be honest with you, these can deliver average results at best. And because of that, a lot of us in the lawn community have been resorting to more commercial grade herbicides like the ones you see here. But I recently discovered a way that we could take this weak store-bought stuff and get near identical results to the commercial grade heavy duty stuff. And all it involves is what's in this spoon. So what I'm holding here in my hand is a bag of ammonium sulfate. This right here is one of the fastest acting forms of nitrogen on the market. And this is what the lawn care pros have been spiking their herbicides with to increase the efficiency of their herbicides. The first way that ammonium sulfate supercharges our herbicides is by making them more acidic. Now this is very beneficial to a certain group of very common weed control products that you probably already have in your garage called weak acid herbicides. And they include all the ones you see here in this graph. And three very common herbicides on this list are these three right here. And these three specific herbicides are found in almost every broadleaf and crabgrass weed control product on the market. Including all the common ones you guys see at the shelf at Home Depot like Weed Be Gone, Weed and Feed, Spectra side as a matter of fact this bottle of ortho weed be gone right here contains those exact three herbicides now the key thing to remember here is that these are considered low acid herbicides but the only issue is they're most effective at killing weeds when they're applied in an acidic solution now this is where the ammonium sulfate comes in this stuff is naturally acidic and once we mix this stuff up in our solution add the herbicide and apply it to the weeds they'll be able to absorb that herbicide much more efficiently another benefit to spiking our mix with ammonium sulfate is that at its core it's a nitrogen fertilizer and plants need nitrogen to survive so it tricks the plant into uptaking it more efficiently and it thinks it's getting nutrients but at the end of the day it's just getting more herbicide put into it so if you're new to my channel we're all about showing you guys results we don't want to show you guys any hacks if we can't prove that they work first to you so coming up here in a second we're going to do a side-by-side -side test of using just herbicide and then using herbicide mixed with ammonium sulfate but before we do that there's some numbers i want to get out of the way real quick when it comes to the application rate we want to add between one eighth of a pound and one fourth of a pound of ammonium sulfate for each gallon of herbicide that we mix up Okay, so to kick off our first test, we're gonna apply just the herbicide with nothing else added to it. And for this application, we're gonna be using this bottle of Ortho Weed Be Gone, specifically the one with crabgrass control. And for reference, this herbicide is a three-way herbicide and it contains 2,4-D, dicamba, and quinclorac. Okay, so for our second test, we're gonna be mixing up the same Ortho Weed Be Gone but this time we're gonna be adding ammonium sulfate to the mix. But before we do, there's something very important that we have to make sure we do first. Before we even think about touching our herbicide, we have to first add our ammonium sulfate to our water, fully agitate it until it's completely dissolved. So now we're gonna add the ortho weed be gone, which contains three different herbicides. And all of those herbicides are classified as weak herbicides like we mentioned earlier. So theoretically, this ammonium sulfate should increase the efficiency of all three of these herbicides. So going into this test, I knew that the herbicide with ammonium sulfate was going to perform better, but I didn't think it was going to be this much of a dramatic difference. To be honest with you, I even surprised myself with this test. The weeds that I sprayed with just the herbicide alone, they're showing some slight injury, but the weeds that I added the ammonium sulfate to, those are like completely annihilated already. They're already showing like significant discoloration, and you could see that the stems are curling over on each other. And if any of you guys are wondering why the stems are curling over, that's because of what the 2,4-D is doing to it. 2,4-D is a growth accelerator once the weeds absorb that they grow beyond sustainability so much that they just start curling over on each other 
If you're thinking about adding ammonium sulfate to your herbicides, it's important that you only add it to this list of low acid herbicides like we were talking about earlier. If the herbicides you're using are not on this list, then do not add ammonium sulfate. And if you guys are facing an unusually large amount of weeds, then make sure you guys check out this video right here. In this video, I cover one of the most extremely potent herbicide combinations that are guaranteed to get rid of most, if not all your weeds. And with that, this is George from Princess Cut.